Hello, my name is Jillian. I'm a transformational life coach and I wanted to give you a little background into my story so that you can see that I've been where you've been. I know how it is to feel miserable and not enjoy life and how you can turn that around. So my story began when I was about 32 years old. I was hating my job a lot. I dreaded getting up in the morning. Sunday nights, I would become miserable and not fun to be around at all because I did not want to go into work. And that ended up spilling over into every other area of my life too. I would have no energy when I came home to play with my kids or be with them or even want to talk to them. All I wanted to do was go hide away and forget about the world. And it's not like it was a very horrible job. It was just boring and energy draining and I just wasn't loving it. So I knew I had to make a change and that did happen one day. I woke up and I literally, I couldn't get out of bed. I was just crying and I didn't want to go in. I ended up not even taking my son to school because I just didn't want to do anything. I wanted to hide from the world. So I called out of work. I didn't bring my son into school and he came in and laid in bed with me and he was comforting me. And that was kind of my breaking point because my son was six at the time. I'm like a six year old little boy should not be comforting his mom because she just isn't happy with herself or with what's going on in her life. And I knew I needed to make a better future for him. Like he should not see that this is what the future is like, hating your job and not being happy. I didn't want that for him. And I knew if I didn't do something, I was gonna spiral deeper and deeper into this depression that was starting. Because when you're able, not able to get out of bed and crying, that's a major warning sign that something is definitely wrong. So I knew I didn't want to go down into that hole. I didn't want my family to see me like that. So I knew something that needed to change. And that was the day I realized it. Um, a lot of crying was about that day, but I knew something had to give. So I started doing research on YouTube and Instagram about um, people who had turned their lives around and I saw that they did it by taking care of themselves. That was the number one recurring factor over and over again in everything I watched, everything I read is they were doing self-care every day and I hadn't been doing any of that. So I started, I said one day, okay, I am going to try meditation. Now meditation isn't for everybody, but I found, and I went through quite a few different ones. Like I do not like sitting in silence. Um, I like the guided meditation. So I started doing that. I started journaling. Journaling was huge for me. Even if I didn't know what to write, I would just start writing anything like, hi, this guy is blue. And eventually it would just lead to deeper and deeper and deeper things. And so much of who I was, I was, I learned so much about myself through journaling. And then I added exercise, which made me feel good because endorphins. So starting to take care of myself was that turning point for me. Once I realized that that was the recurring factor in everybody's um, journey to changing their life around, I knew I had to start doing that. So if there's one piece of advice you take from my story, it's self-care, self-care, self-care. Do something for you, no matter what it is. If it's a bubble bath every night, reading a book, anything, that is the start to changing your life around. Because if you can't be happy with who you are, no other outside experiences is gonna change that. So even if I changed my job, I might still be miserable because I wasn't happy with myself. So I started doing that self-care. That was just, my husband started seeing an improvement where I was happy every day. I still hated my job. I still hated going to work. So I started doing all those things in the morning because I realized the morning was my trigger. I would wake up and not want to get out of bed to go to work. So now I was waking up to do something for myself. I started getting up earlier so I could meditate and exercise and journal and I enjoyed those things and I liked doing them. So it made me want to get up um, more. So self-care, definitely if you take one thing away, it's definitely self-care. And then once I started getting deeper into what I wanted, I realized I didn't want another job. Yes, I could change my job, but that wasn't gonna make me happy because I realized I wanted to make my own schedule. I wanted to be the boss of me. And so I started looking into this online business thing that everybody was doing. And I started a blog in November of 2016. I started a blog, it was a different blog than this one. Um, and I just enjoyed writing about it and enjoyed helping people and meeting new people. I met so many new people, a community outside of where I was, of people who understood what I was going through who knew um, what it felt like to be in my position. And slowly, this didn't just like happen overnight, it happened slowly, day by day by day, 
I got a little better and a little better. And yes, there still were those days where I didn't want to exercise or meditate or journal and I just wanted to lay in bed. And you know what? We all still have those days, no matter what you have those days. But my goal was to make them less and less and less. I didn't want to have those days all the time. So um, I came up with a plan on how I could quit my job. Because you read all these things and they say, oh, well, if you're unhappy with your job, just quit it. Well, I had three kids to support and a husband who was running his own business who, you know, we needed insurance and all those other things that you have to think about. And I'm like, I can't just quit my job because we would not be able to eat or survive or seek medical care. So I realized I need to come up with a plan. And yes, it took two years, this long two year plan till I was finally able to quit that job. Now I help my husband out in his coffee shop and I have extra time to work on my business and what I really wanted to do because through journaling, I found I really want to help people. I really enjoyed meeting people and talking to them about this experience and sharing my experience and just learning from each other. So it took two years. I'm not saying things happen overnight. It takes a long time sometimes, years sometimes. And you know, sometimes it can happen quicker, but um, planning is the most important part. And I realized most people were skipping that step. Like they tell me, oh, quit your job and then you can do this. But I was like, well, how, how do I do that? And that's what I wanted to start. That's what I wanted to show people is how to get there, how to make a plan, how to decide, you know, once you realize your leap that you want to take, it doesn't have to be quitting a job, it can be taking a vacation or any other huge, big life change. I want to help people come over get over those blocks that are stopping them from doing that, which could be fear, time, money. Money is a huge one that we all stops us from doing stuff. So I wanted to take that and help people come up with a plan. So that's what I do now. I help mostly women come up with a plan on how to change their life. And yes, sometimes these plans take a while, but you know what? Having that plan, knowing you are working towards something gives you hope, gives you a renewed thing to be excited about because when I came up with that plan to quit my job I started getting excited I'm like yes I know I'm not gonna be here much longer I have a plan I have a vision I know where I am heading and that's what gave me purpose in life so browse them on my page um see I have a free challenge if you're like I don't know what I want to do but I know I want to change I have a free challenge to help you with that I also have courses to help you overcome blocks that you might be having so browse around and please connect with me if you can. I have social media on the page and my, or you can email me at Jillian at JillianGrover.com. So thanks for stopping by.